Hey everyone, this is a video I shot over two days a few weeks ago. I hadn't been out rail fanning in months and got word through Facebook that an EMD E8 or E9, I've seen both, would be making its way through Cincinnati and Kentucky along the Norfolk Southern Main Line on NS-171. I figured, hey, this could be a fun chase. I wasn't sure what time the train would be coming through though, so I woke up early on a Sunday morning and started off in Crescent Springs because I saw something heading south on the ATCS. This is the Beechwood Road crossing. As you can see, there's plenty of parking and it's wide open and it's a very popular spot for rail fans. Oftentimes, Norfolk Southern will stop its northbound trains here and it gives rail fans a chance to get some great pictures of some unique engines. Usually when something southbound is coming through, it's giving her all she's got to make it up Erlanger Hill. Trains roll through here at all hours, blowing their horns, and there's a pretty prestigious neighborhood nearby, so I'm surprised that nearby residents haven't pushed to make this a quiet zone. You can see how the line snakes its way through the countryside. As the rear of the train comes into view, we can see a Union Pacific pusher on the end. Well, that wasn't it. Not seeing anything heading southbound, I went to Erlanger and caught a northbound as it made a diverging move. There's the train we just saw waiting for this one to clear. Normally I like to be on the other side of the tracks, but this early in the day, the sun would have been behind the train and everything would have been washed out. As it was finishing up, the ATCS showed what looked to be another train preparing to leave the Guest Street Yard in Cincinnati. I hadn't been in a while, so I headed to the Ludlow viewing platform. They've really cleared out the vegetation and given you a great line of sight. I really appreciate how much they've done to transform this into a nice rail fan experience. Sadly, this was not the train either. But it was doubling or tripling out to head south, so we'll speed that up and keep watch.
As we cross the Ohio River, I do love seeing the Southern Railroad Bridge. Now looking north, the Guest Street Yard is the closest to us and the Queensgate Yard is off in the distance and Historic Union Terminal is to your right. We'll zoom in as the train backs up to add another section. Now we can see it through the bridge. It's got a clear signal to head south. It's definitely worth stopping by the Ludlow viewing platform. There's a lot of traffic and it's covered. So even if it's raining, you can still enjoy some trains. I saw there was something approaching me northbound on the ATCS, so I sent my drone to investigate. You can see a train sneak around the bend there before going over one of several trestles on this stretch of railroad. That little field to the right is where I'll be set up tomorrow morning. So I hope you'll check out part two of this video. Sorry about the shaky drone work. I haven't been out flying in a while and I was a little rusty. I thought this meet was pretty cool though. I do wonder why trains seem to stop so far in advance of the signal before crossing the river.
Next, we're back looking at the Cincinnati side. This train has a pusher on it to help it get up Erlanger Hill. While I was here, I saw on Facebook that NS-171 would not be into the Cincinnati area until later that night. It was such a nice day, I figured I'd head over the busiest spot in Cincinnati at Winton Place. And as usual, it didn't disappoint. This southbound CSX got here just about the same time I did. We'll take a closer look and we can see that the CSX train is making a diverging move right after it crosses Mill Creek. In the distance, we can see the headlights of an Indiana and Ohio train waiting to get through. It sounded like he was granted permission as I was arriving, but like always, I never saw him move. He had his running lights on like he was ready to go at any time, but never did. A short time later, and this southbound Norfolk Southern made its way through. Also around this time, some more rail fans showed up. One of them, NS Railfan Productions, made an appearance in my chase of the CSX Derby train video. Check his channel out if you get a chance. We didn't wait long for more action. This northbound NS train came creeping through and then to a stop.
That's NS Rail Fan Production, you can see. A friend was with him, but I didn't catch the name of his channel. Back to the Norfolk Southern train. He had to wait for a CSX southbound to clear before he could continue on and make the diverging move to continue on CSX trackage. Once that CSX cleared, then the Norfolk Southern got the go-ahead. Well, I'd been out for several hours, so I decided to call it a day. As luck would have it, I would be off work tomorrow and figured I could try to chase that elusive EMD one more time. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll watch part two.